Joe wanted to ask you what's the why. This year, uh, Gilbert Police Chief Michael Solberg is asking the, the town council to approve a $2.3 million budget adjustment, citing major cases involving teen violence and increases in workload, among other driving factors. This from the Arizona Republic. That request, however, is not unique to the added scrutiny and demand on the department from the Gilbert Goons cases, but rather it is a trend. We have seen that the Gilbert Police Department has continued over the course of the last four or five years to come back even after receiving budget increases year after year and asking for more at the end of the year. The town council yesterday was expected to hear a presentation on the town's budget. and They are expected to vote on that budget proposal in June. Not only has he said we need two and a half, $2.3 million more this year, he's asking for an additional $4 million for the next fiscal year. Well, at least he's getting in front of it. Joe, why is it that they have such a tough time budgeting? Because is there any doubt in your mind that even if he gets the $81.6 million for next year, next May, is he still going to come back and say, oh, i got to have another million dollars? It seems that way based on the last few years and how they've went. And I told you just before the show started today, I'm really struggling with this one. Why? Um, because... I just wasn't coming up with a good answer, and and it dawned on me right before the show, and oh, I love this. I had an epiphany. Good, and I, and it's really simple, but it was this moment of like, ding! It just makes sense, Joe. They are having this huge problem with budgeting because they're allowed to. You and I kind of hit on it, but it all yeah. comes back to accountability. Did you just like, read my notes? No, I did, did not look at your okay, notes at all. Good. No, all I right. did not. Yeah, no, I like where you're going. But I liked where you were going at 2 o'clock just a few minutes ago when you opened this up. And Gilbert does not operate like the private sector. Yeah. Nobody sits there and does what's happened to you and I and countless other businesses out there and said, hey, um, it's been a lean year. You guys are going to have to do... Um, do more with less. Yeah, we're going to do some right sizing around here. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a riff, a reduction in force. We don't get that, do we? That's not happening with the Gilbert PD. And and then I I thought about it a little bit more. So, you know, if Gilbert says, "Hey, expenses are up," is that going to be a problem? It's like me at the end of the show. Nope. No, <laughs> no problem to see here. Nope. So no one sits there as best as I can tell and says, "No, you can't have it." You're going to have to do more with less. Every company out there faces that kind of issue. But in the end, I feel those challenges make us better. Okay. For the most part, at least. But but that doesn't happen with cities and towns like it happens with big and small businesses. And the reason is that we get involved. You and I. How so? It comes back to our safety. Okay. And... We're afraid of what happens if we don't approve money. Uh. And I, so I started going deeper. And, you know, that, that mom or that dad sits out there, and they've got little Junior at home. And they go, well, if Junior falls in the pool and we have to call 911 and that call goes unanswered, is that going to be okay? No, absolutely not. And mm-hmm. will that happen? Probably not. Mm-hmm. But it might take a minute or two longer if somebody's in distress. And is that acceptable? Nope, hmm. not at all. Or your house is on fire, and you didn't have that extra $1.5 million for the fire department last year. Guess your house is going to burn. Is that okay? Nope. Mm-hmm. So it's on us, too. And that's the issue, that we don't sit there as a group of voters and say, you need to do more with less, or you need to figure out how to make it work with $77 million. We're Do willing. you feel like they're doing as much? I mean, they have more. As you pointed out, 13% more this year than last year. Do you feel like there's 13% more coming out of Gilbert? Uh, but and I know the goons thing throws things for a little bit of a loop, but I also believe that's an excuse that they throw out there. It's not like there weren't things to investigate last year. That's where you and I would box a little bit because I don't feel like that 13% more is really more. I also feel with inflation and everything else going on that that Thirteen percent more is really more like what is 4% this? Percent everything more. else going on? You say inflation and everything else going on. I feel like that's a catch-all to just excuse that the budget is going up faster than inflation. Yeah, I would just say the value of a dollar isn't what it was. You get less with but, that same dollar. But the highest when, when inflation peaked, it was twenty twenty two to twenty twenty three, mm-hmm. right? Or twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. We've seen it coming down over the course of the last year. It's two years. 
So it's it's been coming down. So a 13 percent increase right. is way above. I told and, you that inflation peaked near nine percent. Yes, it only stayed there for a little while, and I think that was summer 2022. And to your point, though, yes, they are going to say things like the Gilbert Coons and overtime and things like that. And as I read through some of these stories, some of it really ticked me off because the reasons that I saw them cite the need for overtime were for like the Waste Management Phoenix Open yeah. and the Super Bowl, yeah. things that you know are going to come up every calendar year. And are not in Gilbert. They're not. <laughs> that's one. But yeah. two is, you know, if you send officers to the Waste Management Phoenix Open every year, yeah, it's not like you should be surprised by yes, that. Yes, I totally agree. As I was reading the report that the, that the Arizona Republic had, uh, they said one spokesperson cited Solberg's contingency funding request was short staffing, according to Brenda Carrasco, a police spokesperson. But she added, the Gilbert Police Department has a lower vacancy rate than most Valley agencies. But they're still under, what, like 20 officers, I believe it said? Which is less than anybody else. Right. So why is it that we're not getting stories from Chandler, from Mesa, from Peoria, from Surprise, from any other, de- from Goodyear? From a- no other department is out here saying every single year. It'd be one thing if you had a Gilbert Goon's case and we went, listen, we've dumped a ton of resources into this. We're paying a bunch of overtime. We'd like to bring in another detective to take some of the other load off of these guys, whatever it is, right? That'd be one thing. Mm-hmm. But we're not getting that. Queen Creek isn't out here saying, well, another year, another $3 million. We're I'm not, not getting that. I'm not saying we're going to get it. But what if tomorrow they came out and had 40 charges a, against a bunch of people who were accused of being Gilbert Goons? Would that change your mind on it? That they're going to sit there and say, we're working on all this, and it's yeah. taking all this time that's going to lead to the finish line. Well, listen, at least I would say that we're getting something for our money. But and right now, it's just this hope, just this idea that, hey, yeah. we have to do all this work on the Gilbert Goons. And any time that there's any criticism about the Gilbert Goons, Solberg comes out and says, the, the media's being mean. Media mean, bad. Don't believe media. Bad media. Can I have more money? Come on, man. It doesn't work that way. If we take a look here, uh, last year they needed an extra $3 million and another Excuse me. They needed an extra three and a half million dollars because of increased security around town council meetings and they needed new equipment. The year before that, they needed another million dollars for new cars. Before that, COVID. Everybody's got everybody's sick. Do you not plan on sick days? Sick days are on the calendar. So people took more sick days than we thought. Why are you not budgeting for sick days? And on and on and on. And I just think to myself, either the the chief can't budget and doesn't know how contingencies work, or this is intentional, to your point, because he can. I think there's a little bit of politics being played. Go ahead. You say it doesn't work that way, but every single year, Mm -hmm. if Chief Solberg goes back Mm -hmm. and tells the board, hey, need a little bit more, yeah, or tells the town council, hey, a little bit short, need a little bit more. And they always say yes. Yeah. This is the way it works. Yeah, you're kind of right. Uh, I mean, part of what he's doing is he's he's bad at budgeting, maybe even intentionally, because he wants to force that town council into making this choice. It's, is, is it is it A or B? He wants to make it very black and white. Do you, which is more important, the ledger or the badge? And you're in a very conservative area in Gilbert. Tax base is pretty productive, right? Oftentimes, it, it surpasses projections year over year. And there must be money coming in because Solberg, every time there's money coming in, Solberg wants some of it, right? And We've there always seems blessed. to be and some all, of it. Exactly. So I think there's a little bit of this, well, I don't want to be painted as anti-cop. I have to vote for it. My God, imagine if I voted against giving the police department money when we've got the Gilbert Goons case going on. Uh, anybody challenging me would just say that I'm anti-cop. I don't want to be anti-cop. I'm pro-cop. I'll give you whatever you need. At some point, we have to draw the line. We have to say, look, we want a legit budget. We don't want you coming back here in May and saying, I have to have another $3 million. Who's going to put their neck on the line and do that, though? I will. Really? I don't live in Gilbert. (laughs) It's really easy for me to do that. (laughs) I oftentimes drive through Gilbert, though. 
Oh. On my way to friends and family. You're really sticking your neck out yeah, there. Yeah, listen, I'm willing to willing to stand up here. Somebody's got to somebody's got to be brave enough to say, "Dude, you're getting eighty million dollars. Show us why that's the right number, and be and scrutinize it." But you can't come back and say, uh, "A lot of guys got sick this year. Uh, cars are broken. Uh, can't do this, that, the other thing." Every year, there's another excuse. There will be another excuse next fiscal year. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.